Hi, I'm Lily from Future Frogmen. We're a nonprofit organization dedicated to protecting our oceans. Today, we're going to be talking about plastic pollution. Plastic pollution is an influx of plastic materials into the environment. The plastic hurts wildlife and habitat and is a growing problem. As a matter of fact, every year, over 8 million pieces of plastic reach our oceans and they can last in the water for over 450 years. This horrible reality has a lasting impact on fish, dolphins, seabirds, seals, and more because they often mistake plastic bags, balloons, and pieces of plastic as food. If that's not bad enough, the plastic is made from toxic chemicals such as colorizers and hardeners. If they don't kill the creature, they can foster mutations within their species. Beyond this, many wildlife species like sea turtles, whales, and seabirds find themselves entangled by plastic pollution, which threatens their survival. Another pressing issue with plastic pollution is microbeads. Microbeads are small manufactured plastic particles that are less than 5 millimeters, which do not decompose or dissolve in water. They're ingredients that are found in everyday products such as personal care and cleaning products. Unfortunately, many wastewater treatment systems do not filter microbeads, which causes them to enter rivers, lakes, and oceans, severely threatening marine life. Once into the environment, they are almost impossible to collect and remove. After hearing this information, you may wonder what you can do to help solve this problem. Here are some steps that you can take to reduce plastic pollution. Number one, refuse single-use plastic. Two. Use more reusable items such as reusable bags and water bottles. Three, purchase items secondhand and be resourceful. Four, support bans on plastic. Five, avoid products that use microbeads by looking for these ingredients. Six, participate in ocean or river cleanups. Seven, recycle responsibly. And lastly, spread the word about this issue to others. The more people that know about this, the greater the chance we have to solve it. Every individual step adds up to help reduce plastic pollution. If you want to learn more about plastic pollution and ocean conservation, check out futurefrogmen.org and look for us on these platforms at Future Frogmen.